What's up? Gangsta Grass in Chicago. My first concert was, it was like the best hip hop show ever. It was De La, Big Daddy Kane, Slick Rick, LL, LL headlined it, and Tough Crew set it off. I'm a Philly guy, so Tough Crew, they set it off hard, man. And it just got better and better and better and better. And I was, I was a, I was a hip hop dude then. And when I watched them, watched everybody perform, I was like, I could never do that. That's amazing. <laughs> and now, I don't know, 3,000 years later, here I am doing it. Uh, the first show that I went to on my own, not being taken by like my parents or everything, was in junior high. I went to see uh, Living Color, and it was an Ooh. awesome show. And who I didn't know yet, but who was opening up for them was this like industrial industrial punk hip-hop group called the Beatniks who blew my mind and I got their vinyl at that show and wore it out and that was led by a guy named Michael Franti who went on to start oh, Spearhead, yeah, Spearhead and now yeah. is Michael Franti but that's when I first saw him Damn. so uh, my first show the first show I really went to on my own was a Paul Simon show oh, sweet. and uh, yeah he just sounded amazing even though he doesn't have all of its voice that he had when he was younger um, I, I could really tell that like his arrangements were just genius and it, it taught me that uh, devoting yourself to good arrangements and perfecting that uh, really can improve your sound all right uh, I don't remember the first concert I went to um, but the first time well the second time I went to SNL was Prince Ooh. So Prince on SNL, and that taught me a lot about how if you think it's going to be a really cool effect to light a circle on fire, literally on fire, and put it like around the camera for the opening shot and then pan out, it looked so cool in the studio, and then you look on the screen and it was like really pathetic and, and not executed well at all. And I saw it because the lights are now like, that's going to be awesome, and then it wasn't awesome. Everything else about the show was Prince live, so... Fantastic.